Bulelo's ear with a set of matches when I accidentally perforated her eardrum. All hell broke loose. My grandmother came running in from the kitchen. When's Andoni? What's happening? What's happening? There was blood coming out of my cousin's head. We were all crying. My grandmother patched up Bulelo's ear and made sure to stop the bleeding. But we kept crying. Because clearly we'd done something we were not supposed to do. And we knew we were going to be punished. My grandmother finished up with Bulelo's ear and whipped out a belt. And she beat the shit out of Bulelo. Then she beat the shit out of Mlumisi too. She didn't touch me. Later that night, my mother came home from work. She found my cousin with a bandage over her ear and my gran crying at the kitchen table. What's going on, my mom said. Oh, Numbuiselo, she said. Trevor is so naughty. He's the naughtiest child I've ever come across in my life. Then you should hit him. I can't hit him. Why not? Because I don't know how to hit a white child, she said. A black child, I understand. A black child, you hit them and they stay black. Trevor, when you hit him, he turns blue and green and yellow and red. I've never seen those colors before. I'm scared. I'm going to break him. I don't want to kill a white person. I'm so afraid. I'm not going to touch him. And she never did.